So if our memories are fiction, who are we? Just think about the way that we tell our life stories. We highlight certain events, we downplay others, we add emotional weight to moments that might have been minor at the time, we rewrite past decisions to make them seem more logical. We are, at least to some extent, unreliable narrators of our own lives. So we can think of identity as a living document which is constantly being updated. Who you think you are today is different from who you thought you were 10 years ago. Some of that shift comes from the deposition of new memories, but some of it comes from the subtle confabulations that shape our memories. This may not be a flaw, but a feature, because a perfect, unchanging memory would trap us in the past. Instead, we evolve, rewriting our history in real time to fit the narrative of who we believe we are. So some argue that confabulation can be useful, but it also has a dark side, which is overconfidence, because we don't realize we're confabulating, we assume our memories are true. And that can lead to serious problems like false convictions, where innocent people are imprisoned because of eyewitnesses who believe they are telling the truth. Also, a problem with confabulating brains is misinformation. False memories contribute to conspiracy theories and urban legends and historical distortions that shape public perception. And confabulation leads all the time to personal misunderstandings. How many relationships have been damaged because two people remember an argument differently and each is convinced that their version is correct? This is why it's always a good idea to approach your memory with skepticism and humility. Just because we remember something vividly doesn't necessitate that it's true.